Hi everyone, my name is Marissa. Welcome back to my channel. This is the look that I wore to Gen Beauty featuring a really special NYX liner and I'm gonna show you how to get the look today. So I started with the Corez Wild Rose Vitamin C Active Brightening Oil. This is cool because it's got hyaluronic spheres that envelop vitamin C. It's so lightweight and it feels so hydrating on my skin. Then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. It's really cooling and I use it on the contours of my eyes just to settle down any puffiness. Then I'm taking the Hourglass Ambient Light Correcting Primer in Mood Light. I love this one because it's got this lavender cast that really just brightens your skin. And I'm going to put that all over the face to repair my skin for the foundation. Then I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation in Y225 and I'm using it like a highlight. So instead of using a concealer, I'm using lighter foundation. Now I'm using a stick foundation to contour with because I find that it's just easier to blend in. Foundations are made to blend in and I think that it's just easier to use in a cream contour. Then I'm taking the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer in R22. This has a little bit of a pink cast and it's great for just concealing anything I didn't get with the contour. Then I'm using the NYX HD Photogenic Finishing Powder. This, as you can see, really kicks up dust, but it's 100% mineral powder, so it's going to look really, really natural and lightweight on your skin. And then, for the areas that I want to contour, I'm going to use the Vita Liberata Tristal Minerals Bronzing Powder. And this is a self-tanning powder, but because I'm wearing so many layers on top of, it's not just on my bare skin, it doesn't actually self-tan, but this color is perfect. I love it. Then I'm going on to the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift in Brook S. I really like this one because it's got like a little triangle tip to it and I like to use it the flat side to just draw in individual hairs in the head of the brow and use the included spoolie to just comb through. It gives a really nice color. Then I'm taking the Laura Mercier Eye Basics in Buff. I have loved this ever since I saw Harusha Chemian using this on Kylie Jenner in one of the tutorials. It's just a really nice nude color that you can put on your eyes and just kind of cancels out the veins on your eyelids and just looks really good. Now my favorite brushes for this look are the Wayne Goss 3 and 4 brush and the Charlotte Tilbury Eye Smudger brush and I'm dipping into the Morphe 350 palette using those first two shades just all over to blend and then I'm taking this lighter brown shade, sorry they don't have shade names, and I'm using that as more of a transition color so all over around the crease then taking this more brown red color and really deepening out that socket line that's where i'm going to be putting in the color the other one was more of just a transition then i'm taking all those colors that i used to define the crease with the eye smudger brush i just love this brush by the way it's just the perfect density and shape then i'm taking this amazing it almost feels like a cream eyeshadow this glitter eyeshadow from the palette and running that on the eyelid all the way up to the crease but nowhere further than the crease and then I'm taking a little bit of the highlighting glitter I would like to call it it's like really really bright silver and I'm just tapping that on the center of the lid to just add a little bit more dimension to the look I'm always making sure to blend as much as I can because you need the most seamless look then I'm taking the NYX glitter primer and I'm just gonna run that over really really lightly with my finger tapping it on not to disturb the shadow underneath and I'm taking the NYX face and body gold pigment glitter and tapping that on with the E35 brush by Sigma. I love this one because it's really flat and you could just pack things on with very little fallout. I love this glitter too, it just gives the perfect effect. Then I'm taking my most favorite liner of all time, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. It has a brush tip, as everybody already knows, and it just gives a perfect painterly sketched line. It's just so good. And my classic cat eye is I elongate the inner corner of the eye, and then I also elongate upwards and outwards towards the end. And you can see that I take the angle that my lower lash line dictates, and I draw upwards towards the tail end of the brow. And then I'm taking in the star of the show, the NYX Vivid Bright Liner in Vivid Sapphire. Honestly, I didn't even need to use that black beforehand. It's so bright. The black is just gonna add a little bit of a base, and I'm also the most comfortable with that black liner, so I draw my most perfect line. It works really well. As you can see here, I got such a crisp line and I'm just over exaggerating the length. Then I'm taking the YSL Mascara Vinyl Couture and the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara. I love the Vinyl Couture mascara because it really adds the saturated inky blackness to the eyes and I find that the brush is really good for the lower lash line but for something that gives you lots of volume 
I would stick to the Velvet Noir. I love that mascara. Then the Huda Beauty Faux Mink Lashes in Jade number 13 and the Duo Eyelash Adhesive in Clear White. I used the House of Lashes Adhesive on that day because it's like cement for your eyelashes. But I didn't really feel like ripping out any eyelashes today, so I used the Duo. And then I used the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronzing Glow. Do not judge me for this palette. I already have a backup. It's my most favorite palette for bronzing and highlighting. And I used the Morphe M510 brush with the highlighter. I just love this highlighter, guys. Like, ugh. So I'm putting it on the cheekbones, a little bit on the brow bone, down the bridge of the nose, and on the cupid's bow. I want to look lit. Then I'm taking the Estee Edit, the barest blush in First Lover. It's this tawny nude slight blush tone dusty pink. I love it with the Tweezerman Brush IQ blush brush and I'm just patting that onto the cheeks. I'm just adding the, the faintest, well the barest kiss of color and then I'm taking the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in Caramello. I have posted this too many times on Instagram. My new favorite, it's like the same consistency of the first editions of the Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks. It's this moussey texture and it's the same paddle applicator too that you can see I used to get such a precise application on my lips. So I'm going to be using a Jeffree Star trick which is using two setting sprays. The Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray locks everything in and then I'm using the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Priming Mist just to add a little bit more dewiness to the face. And there's the finished look. I was obsessed with it. I got more compliment bins than I've ever gotten and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you stay subscribed to my YouTube channel for more in the best of beauty news. I have a Gen Beauty haul coming up. And click on the video clip right now on the screen to watch my last video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.